How y'all doing today? Today, we're cooking my famous hamburger and potato casserole. And it's going to be mighty fine, I tell you. Right here, we have one and a half pounds of ground chuck. Turn the heat on to about medium. We're going to add some good old cracked black pepper. Good amount of it. Now it's coming out. We're at at least about a teaspoon of it for now. A teaspoon for now. And kosher salt is what I use. Go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of that. And we're just going to give it a mix and start browning it. While that's browning, we're going to go ahead and cut up this sweet onion. Now our meat is uh, partially brown, still a little pink. And now is the time that I'm going to add the onion. You can see I just dice mine up like that. And you can dice yours up as however you like. You can dice it in strips, dice it up fine, dice it up big, whatever. Got the onion in there. Just going to give it a good old stir. Go ahead and give it a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to add, you can add whatever you like. I'm going to add in this gourmet burger seasoning. You can use uh, the mozzarella steak seasoning would be good. Or just use salt, pepper, garlic powder. That would be perfectly fine. Just whatever you want. We'll let that continue to cook. Our meat is done. The onions are getting translucent. We still got quite a bit of grease and stuff. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of flour. We're just going to give that a stir. Stir that around and cook it for about two to three minutes. Just keeping a stir on it, y'all. Three minutes has went by. I have switched utensils to a wooden spoon. Also, my heat was set on medium. I turned it down to medium low. Now we're going to add in about a cup of milk. Give that a stir and just let that cook for a minute until it thickens up. It's thickening up. Next ingredient. Y'all got, got to trust me on this because it's going to be mighty fine. Cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. This is a 10 and a half ounce can. Whole can is going in. We'll give that a stir. And I'm going to turn my heat down pretty much to low at this point. And we got one more ingredient going in it. Final ingredient into this mixture is Lux Pinto Beans with seasoned pork. Whole can, juice and all, going in. And we stir. And we're... Let's turn our heat up about medium low. We just want that to simmer just for a couple minutes. Okay, so it's been simmering together for about five minutes and it's looking good right there. Looking mighty fine and man, it smells. It smells incredible, guys. Now I'm going to cut the heat off and set this to the side. Now in this pot right here, I have six russet potatoes that was about medium to small size. And I uh, just sliced them about a quarter of an inch or so thick and we're just going to power boil these they all ain't perfect but we don't want to put, boil them to mush we just want to boil them until they're a little bit firm maybe a little tender around the edges but still a little firm in the middle potatoes also love salt so add a good amount of salt in there a few good pinches so these have been boiling about five minutes and they're pretty much done. They're not completely tender, but they're a little translucent around the edges, a little hard in the middle. They still fall off the knife, but the potatoes are not falling apart. Now we're gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna put them in a strainer to strain the water and I'm gonna run them under cold water to stop the cooking. So I just ran them through this strainer right here, rinsed with cold water. And I'm going to shake off as much of the water as I can. The excess water off the potatoes. Or taters. Potatoes or taters. So a 9 by 13 Pyrex. And we're going to layer, start layering these potatoes in the bottom. We're going to take half of them and put into the bottom of the pan. Let me get them in there. Don't remember if I said, but I did butter this Pyrex pan. I'm going to add a thin layer of salt over top of these potatoes. Just a thin layer, guys. Because potatoes like salt. They love it. They love it, love it, love it. Now here's our mixture. It's been resting for a little bit. We're going to pour half of this 
over this. Oh, this is so heavy, so heavy. Let's spread it out nice and even. Just like that. Nice. Cheese, guys. And look, I shredded my own. This is about a pound or let's see yeah, that's about a pound of cheese so we're gonna put about half of it over this layer got that layer now the rest of her potatoes probably put a little more in the bottom than I did the top but that's perfectly perfectly fine I'm gonna bring these in just a little bit and get them layered on there got them on there just like that. Now, the rest of our mixture going on top. I'm going to tell y'all, this right here will be the best potato and hamburger casserole you ever had in your life. I guarantee you that. Did I say my oven? I'm going to do this at 375 degrees today. Uh, on covered for probably about 30 minutes. We'll see. That spread it out there real good. Mm -mm -mm. remainder of the cheese is going on I forgot to say guys if you do overcook your potatoes cook them a little bit too long they get a little too mushy you know it'll be fine just go ahead and roll with it uh, still be good it'll still be mighty fine I tell you so don't worry about it get that rest that cheese on there what's going on guys look at here what I got left a little bitty bite bite for the chef chef Mmm. You can eat that mixture just by itself. Put it on a dang sandwich. Man, that's mighty fine. Okay, look at there. Oven is preheated. 375. You could probably go 400 if you wanted to. Probably could have used a little more cheese on the top. But let me quit it talking. Let's get this in the oven. Just pulled it out of the oven and it is piping hot, guys. Cooked for about 35 minutes. And we're going to let that cool down for at least 15 minutes before we tear into it because it's hotter than fire. Here is the plated product, guys. And you can eat it like that, but I like to add a little dollop of sour cream on top. Come off there. Come off there. And some green onion. And you can add whatever you want to yours. Or eat it just plain. Good either way. Look at there. Beautiful. Let's try this out, y'all. Man. Still a little bit hot. Give her a try. Get a little bit of that sour cream. I like that sour cream. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I guarantee you, that right there will be the best potato and hamburger casserole you've ever ate. Mmm. Well, that's it for today's episode. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Cheers.